Okay, go ahead. Black balloon, black balloon, he's mean and evil through and through. Black balloon. Do you know what that's from, that theme song we just sang? It's actually No, it's actually from an, it's from an old Jane Fonda movie called Cat Baloo. And it's Cat Baloo, Cat ba sung by Nat King Cole. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to some Corbin. I'm Red. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter. Also on personal YouTube channel. <laughs> Links in the description below. Capaloo is a real fun, quirky little comedy uh, that if you've never seen it, it's like 90 minutes long. It's really, really, really cute. Capaloo. Cool. Lee Marvin, Jane Fonda. Cool. Lee Marvin plays two characters. Cool. One of them has no nose. Cool. <laughs> it's a good movie. Today we're doing some stand up. Yep. Uh, I think it's by an artist I don't think we've seen before. I could be wrong. But, um, Azim Banatwala. And this was just released, uh, yeah, just a few days ago. That's, That's called a heck of a disclaimer right there. Yeah. Bollywood and drugs. Sweet. This should be a lot of fun, and I doubt we're going to get any comments on no, this. No, I'm sure people won't. No have one has an opinion about this. Any feelings at all. None whatsoever. But, uh, I That disclaimer. Should, should we read that freaking... You can. Okay, you ready? Take a deep breath. <clears throat> the following is a lighthearted satirical program meant for the mature audiences only. It contains occasional coarse language and covers topics such as drugs and narcotics. The views, opinions, or remarks it contains are of the performer alone and should not be presented or reproduced as fact. The performer does not or can in no way be perceived to partake in, endorse, or promote the use, sale, distribution <laughs> of drugs, narcotics, or of any illicit controlled substances. This program is merely social commentary with hyperbole used for the purposes of humor within the context of a live comedy show. The contents of this video are not, nor can they be taken to intend to offend the feelings, sentiments of, or to denigrate any individual alive or dead profession, trade, calling, institution. The viewer is proceeding to watch this program as a conscious choice and has complete autonomy in choosing whether to proceed to see its contents. The viewer is also free to stop watching at any point of their choosing. We should put that before every OSR video. We should. Every single one. Oh, man. And That's then, a great disclaimer. And then people couldn't complain anymore. Nope, not at all. But then you couldn't block them. Yes, yeah, you I could. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that was a great disclaimer. Oh, welcome back. My favorite death penalty crime, however, in India has to be uh, drug smuggling. Not to commit as a crime, I just want to clarify, and it is very important to clarify that I do not smuggle drugs <laughs> <laughs> on weekdays. Uh, <laughs> what was my favorite crime to read about? And it's become India's favorite crime. Right? The entire drug consumption thing does that entire. I mean, the, the person who is accusing people of doing drugs is a living advertisement for coke <laughs> <laughs> in this country. Nation wants that. Outstanding dude. And they're going after Bollywood people. Bollywood is doing drugs. And they're doing drugs. What is your life? The car is bought, the bungla is bought. After, after a while, even Shahrukh must be thinking, yeah, 20 years in Mangat. But he can see it in a different way now. I'm not bored of it. Yes, hi, what's up? I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I personally feel that you know you should like you should punish only select Bollywood people who are doing drugs. <laughs> like for people who do drugs and make creative movies, you know, like Kanurang Kashyap or maybe an Amir Khan or a Farhan Akhtar, like use it for your Yeah, let them go. Sajid Khan is doing it. He's in jail now, he's house full. That's funny. I love reading the newspaper reporting of drug smuggling because the newspaper, the, the headline is always, always amazing. It's like, the police today seized one kilogram of heroin worth one crore. And I enjoy reading this because now I know the market rate. <laughs> That's true. Now I can bargain with my drug dealer with full market. 
I go to this like 10 grams ka 20 lakh le padi you think I am an amateur <laughs> I read Hindustan Times okay? <laughs> One kilogram of heroin worth one crore, as estimated by experts. Mm. <laughs> they must talk to the experts. Who are these experts? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> Can I be one of these? <laughs> I'm just saying I may have the relevant work experience, but for legal purposes, I do not. Actually, some police station, Dadar, Bombay Central, somewhere, a bag of weed lying on the table, just four fat dudes sitting rolling joints. Why is Howley party? बहुत हार्ड है यार ये बाल पार्टी भाई नेक्स्ट लाइक ग्रुप पार्टी तेरा नाम एक्चुअल पार्टी इज ब्लेज इन द कॉर्नर इज मेकिंग नोट ऑफ द ब्रेथलाइजर ऑन द साइड एक्सपर्ट इज मेकिंग नोट माल बोलना चाहता यस यस साइड पार्टी I always do this, right? After the drug bust happens, they have a photo op, right? Which they put all the yeah, they put all the drugs out. Shiv Sagar buffet, ye liye drugs. And you know what happens to the drugs after this? Just shout it out if you know what the police does to confiscated drugs. They're supposed to burn. They're supposed to burn them. No, up. Yeah. They, they burn the drugs too. I'm like, you just told me it's worth one crore <laughs> in this economy. <laughs> But you need to be selling these drugs, okay? In fact, as a government, it is selfish of you to not sell the drugs. Because on one hand, farmers in this country committing suicide because they cannot repay loans of two thousand rupees. On the other hand, har roz ek crore ka heroin jala raha. Fucking connect the dots, dude. <laughs> sell the drugs, save the farmers. Simple solution. <laughs> There's an argument for legalization. See, I don't want you to think over here that I'm endorsing drug abuse. No, I'm endorsing capitalism. <laughs> In fact, sell the drugs, uh, give it to the farmers. It's capitalism and communism combined. <laughs> Big words, I know. But, uh, but you know, I mean, these are just things that uh, I'm saying as a comedian on stage. But the way the country is going, fucking never know, dude. Maybe few months down the line, you know, next Independence Day, what's up there? Yeah? Somebody comes up on a stage standing on red fort saying, "Me throw." इस साल के कोकेन सेल्स के कारण आज हर भारतवासी के बैंक अकाउंट में 25 रुपया कैशबैक आने वाला है कि यस 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 यही तो है विकास गुड शिट ब्रो गुड शिट दिस इज आल्सो गुड शिट ब्रो सरास तो कॉल बैक टू माय ओन जोक फ्रॉम फाइव इयर्स अगो Before you go, yes. please indulge me for 30 seconds. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Share it with your friends. We are. He's accurate. Content. And also, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, okay. This is a new channel that I've started independent of the EIC channel where I like to do my own stuff. Oh, is he part of EIC? Stand up, Apparently gaming, so. and football okay. related content. So if you like any of these three things, uh, you'll like most of the stuff that I put up on this channel. So hit the subscribe button. Also, live socially distanced shows are starting as of this That's month, great. 21st Good. November. Good. We should do that. Here. Pune, 23rd to 27th yeah. in Bandra in Mumbai. That drive in club, uh, and 25th of yeah. December in Pune again. Drive -in. They're doing drive-in movies. Festival. Yeah. Tickets are in the description, and uh, you'll have the details somewhere around here. Go, man! You. you once again for your support. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe. These are the things that you have to say. And I will see you soon. Bye. He's very funny. Good job. Very funny. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I like that a lot. It was um, obviously, as we know, currently. Relevant. Yeah, I thought he would get more into it. He kind of just brushed it and just made it more about drugs as a whole, yeah. not Bollywood and drugs. Yeah. He just kind of brushed the paint a little bit off to the side there to Bollywood. <laughs> but all in all, very funny and very, he has a way, like a lot of comedians, of delivering a hard truth with sarcasm, mm -hmm. but his personal demeanor and his voice kind of lets him get away with it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah like I feel like um, he is not, he's very different, but Kana Gill, could also get away with doing that. He sounds, yeah. he sounds very innocent while talking about it. He's like nonchalantly kind of like a... Um, I was going to give yeah. a reference to like Super Bad, but I don't think you've seen Super I haven't seen yeah. Super Bad. No, it's one of those things where like everybody... He says a joke and everybody's laughing and three or four people aren't and thinking, that's actually really true, man. <laughs> <laughs> what he just said it was actually really deep. 100%. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a lot of the stuff... Because um, people... Remember when uh, Anirag came on our channel? How could I forget? <laughs> <laughs>
and now we with him on the or now meme because he was rolling a cigarette and people think he was doing drugs well, right not that it would matter if he was no it's like if he well i don't care I, not a, <laughs> california marijuana is legal i so. think it's hilarious and i'm just talking about hollywood that people are surprised when they find out any celebrity does drugs especially older yeah <laughs> because it's not as prevalent now but back in the day there was not one celebrity that wasn't doing coke before every scene <laughs> there wasn't any it's if you're wealthy yeah. you have access yeah it's standard it like for millionaires to have parties and cocaine to be part of what's being presented it's just yep not out of the ordinary yeah it, it makes no sense to me uh that's not thing. a condoning of it but no. it's just saying this is not like some dark little secret in the corners that only a few people do yeah <laughs> also like it's their life they're, they're not hurting anybody that's my view <laughs> yeah and, well and then we could get into what he said at one point which is there's a lot of people here in the united states i mean we've already legalized marijuana and and several Multiple psychedelics states. yeah and in, in a lot of states uh, as well as shrooms and, and other psychedelics, which is a whole, there's some great documentaries about it. You really should look into the criminalization of particularly psychedelics and marijuana, but even at all opium derivative kinds of drugs yeah. and how things, what would change if these things were not illegal? Yeah. It's a, it's a really interesting discussion, for yeah. sure. And really interesting in discussion. In the United States, it's, it's different than it is other places because... Always, uh, yeah. I mean, we have a very <laughs> uh, unique relationship with race and jails and all that kind of stuff. And all those kind of tie together. They a really bit. do. Um, so we have a very different than other places. But yeah, it's I love comedians but, who can be edgy and mm -hmm. talk about the issues at hand yeah your dos i think probably did it already um one of these things talking about it's kind of been a hallmark for comedians <laughs> to do it not that you have to but, no but it, it really is a lot of comedians have taken the uh you know started with lenny bruce and yeah. richard pryor and you george speak about Carlin. the truth yeah speak about those but truths the unspeak the free, people freedom of speech yeah. yeah make people laugh about it richard pryor did it uh, george carlin did it but not all comedians did it. And now it seems to be more common than not mm -hmm. in terms of stand-up comedy. And I think that's a good thing. Yeah. I, uh, Freedom of speech. Good. Very funny. Yep. Uh, let us know more from him. What other stand-up should we react to? Let us know down below. <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs>